question number one. The table below lists a random sample of 40 speeding tickets on I-25 in Colorado. So let's make sure we understand this table and then we'll answer the questions. Tell me about this eight right here. What is this eight? That's how many meals were going zero to 10 miles per hour? Yeah, good. Uh, zero to 10 over the speed limit, huh? They were barely over the speed limit. Eight males were, were zero, barely over the speed limit, zero to 10. Nine males were 10 to 20 over the speed limit. 12 males were more than 20 over the speed limit. And then, yeah, like this three here is three females were barely over the speed limit. Six females were 10 to 20 over. Two females were more than 20 over, et cetera. Then the bottom row, this is all totals, the side column, that's all totals as well. All right, I think you got it, let's dive in. If a random ticket was selected, what would be the probability that the driver was female? Okay, so the pro so remember how we do probability. This is the probability chapter, which is always a challenging chapter for, for most people. Yes. So probability is always the number that's being asked for over the total number. So in this case, what are they asking for? The driver was female. So we're talking about the number of female drivers over the total number, right? Probability always has the total on the bottom. Just like if I was to flip a coin, the, the probability, you all know that the probability of getting a heads on a coin is one out of two because there's two total possibilities. Right? There's two things that can happen. You can get heads or tails. That's why it's one out of two is the probability you're going to get a heads. Okay, anyway, so what's the number of females in this scenario? Is it 11? Yeah, good. That's total females. Well done. That's total females. And then the total total is the 40, huh? So it's 11 out of 40. And they, they said they, uh, they said no fractions. They want a decimal. Okay. So I'll divide 11 by 40 on my calculator. I'm getting 0.275. And there we go. So that's the probability that if you grab somebody at random from this crowd, you're going to get a female. There's a 27.5% chance, basically. Not, not a very good chance. Most of them are male, that means. Most of the speeders are males. All right, stop me if you want to talk about it. Otherwise, I'll just keep moving along. Part B. Yeah, yeah I have a question. Yeah. Okay, wh what if our decimal is like longer than yours? Do I close around it? Um, yeah, it's a good question. They don't say anything about rounding. So I would just enter the whole thing. All right. Yeah, man, I, was, I was wondering that too, Vicente. Yeah, they don't say anything about rounding here. So yeah, just enter the whole thing. Let me know if they accept that. I think, I think they will, but let me know. All right. Um, B, given that a particular ticket had a male offender, underline whatever, given that a particular ticket had a male offender, what is the probability that they were more than 20 miles over the speed limit? Ah. So this is a, this is a given question. These, these ones, um, we have to do something a little different on these kinds. So one more time, given that the particular ticket had a male offender, what is it probably they were more than 20 over the speed limit? So here's the deal for given. Whenever they say given, that's, that's a key word. The probability will equal the number being asked again, you know, the tops, the top's the same, right? Number asked, number asked, same thing. Over the number given, or I'll just say the given number. That, it changes the denominator. So on a given problem, given changes 
the denom. That's the key thing you need to know about given. We're going to do a lot of given problems today. That's one of the main themes is, is how do you handle a given question? You see, because what they're saying is they're limiting the possibilities, right? Uh, that, that's just think about just think about with me. I don't I don't want you to see this as some weird, strange math rule. You you don't want to try to learn math like tricks, like you know, dog tricks or something. You know, it's it's not that way. It's just simple logic. It's it's what we know. So let me let me present it that way. What if what if I was to say to you, hey, what's um what's what's the problem? If I, I grab somebody in the street at random, so grab 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 someone at random what's the probability that they are a fast person they're fast at a fast runner what's the problem if i was just to grab somebody at random off the street what's the probability they're fast and we might say i don't know you know maybe, whatever maybe it's small but then what if i add to it given let me change the color and Change the thing. Yeah. What if I say, given um, they play soccer, they play on a soccer team. Okay. So what if I, what if I, you know, if I just asked you, I'm going to grab somebody at random. What's the chance they're fast? And then I say, oh, well, oh, by the way, given I did, I did, I did grab somebody off of a soccer team. I was, I, I went to a soccer practice and I grabbed somebody. Now, what is the chance they're fast? That changes it a lot, doesn't it? That makes sense? Do you feel that? That's just true. That's not some math trick. That's just true, isn't it? Right? When, 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 you're, when you're given something, that, it, that changes the field from which you're pulling. It changes the denominator. It changes the, prop, it changes the, the denominator because it changes the possibilities, right? You're getting a soccer person. You're not getting just any old person, right? So wh whereas if I didn't say that, if I just said, hey, I'm going to grab somebody, what's the chance they're fast? It might be a very low chance. But if I change it to say, oh, by the way, let me give you this information. They, they do play soccer. They're on a soccer team. Well, they're probably fast. Unless they're the goalie, probably even then, in that case, they're fast, right? That changes the story a lot. Given information changes the denominator so that's that's what we have so that's just true and the math the math doesn't make up tricks it just reflects what's true so let's go back to the main question again uh, given that a particular person was a male so they're saying you grab somebody at random out of this group and they are a male right given that the that the ticket had a male offender so you grab the ticket at random and by the way it was a male it was a man's ticket. So if you know that information, that changes the story a little bit, doesn't it? Look over here. Who did most of the highest speeding? Who did, the, who did most of the more than 20 miles an hour over the speed limit? Men. Yeah, the men. 12 men, only two women. So if they're saying, hey, you're given, you did this ticket, you grabbed it random, by the way, you're given that it is a male. It's a, it's a man. The male, so, oh, what's, and so what's the chance that it's more than 20 over? Oh, that's going to change it because the men were the ones who mainly went really fast over more than 20 over. All right, anyway, so I want you to feel what's true there. Okay, so what does that do in particular? Changes the denominator. So in the denominator, you don't put the, I'm not going to put 40. I'm not going to put 40 here. Right, I'm not going to put the total total. I'm just going to put the given total. What's the given total? Well, what's what's being given? Male. So how many males are there total? 29. Yeah, and my problem, 29. Exactly. Now, the numerator is what? More than 20 over. So how many males went more than 20 over? The 12, right? So it's 12 out of 29. Divide that on your calculator. I'll do that too. I'm getting, yeah, so I got one of them crazy long decimals. Um, also this time, 4.413793. I would just type in, it doesn't say how far to round. 
So in that case, I would just type in like six places is probably fine. My decimal goes forever. I'm just going to, I would just type in like six. I wouldn't round anything. I would just type in like six decimals and I'm sure it'll all be good. I'm pretty sure. Is anybody experiencing that? Anybody done that so far? Um, I'm putting in four decimals. And, and it's taking it? Um, I'll check right now. Yeah. Um, yes. Good. Excellent. Yeah. So just type in a bunch of decimals. Don't worry about rounding. It's all good. I have a question. So yeah. for part B, you put in, let me read the question. You put in 12 and then divided by 29. Yeah. 12 divided by 29. That's right. Because there were 12, um, 12 males that went over 20 miles an hour right here out okay. of 29 males. Okay. Because, yeah, because they were given that it's a male. So that changes the denominator from 40 to 29 because there's only 29 males. That's what you do with given. You change the denominator to the group they're speaking of. We're only talking about males. We're not including everybody. We're given that it was a male. So that's out of the 29 males then, how many of them? So, so, we're, so, we, so clearly we've grabbed somebody out of the group of 29 males because we're given that it's a male. Out of them, what's the chance that it was somebody who went more than 20 over the limit? Well, 12 out of the 29 males went oh, more than 20 over the limit. So 12 divided by 29. Good, other questions on that one? C is gonna be kind of the same, it's another given. Let's take a look, uh, part C. Given that a particular ticket was 10 to 20 over the limit, what's the probability it was a female? Okay, so again, we're going to do a given. And how do we do given? Well, the probability is going to be the given on the bottom, and on the top, it's going to be the number asked for. So the number asked over the given number. So what's the number asked? Well, what are they asking for? Well, let's, let's start with the dominant. So what's What's being given in this situation? What does it say is given? Is, is it given that they're a female? Is that what's given? Is that what's given in this problem? Is, are we given that it's a female? No. No, right. We're given that the ticket was 10 to 20 over. That's what we're given. And then we're being asked if it's a female. So we're supposed to go up to the group of tickets that are 10 to 20 over. Let's go up to the table. So would the total in this one be 15 and not 11? Yeah, there it is right there. Exactly. So there's the group of tickets that are 10 to 20 over. The total number of tickets that are 10 to 20 over is 15. Excellent. 15 is our denominator, isn't it? Because that's the given number of tickets that are 10 to 20 over. So out of those, out of those 15 tickets, so we're, we, we're, we know we're given that a particular ticket was 10 to 20 over. So we know that's the case. The ticket was 10 to 20 over. So what's the probability that it was, well, what are they asking for? A female. What's the chance it was a female? So out of those 15 tickets that were 10 to 20 miles over, right, these total 15 tickets up, up there that were 10 to 20 miles per hour over the limit, how many of those were female? Do we all see it? Right there, the six. Is that good? So the number of females is six over the 15. I come, I'm coming out with 0.4. All right. I hope this is working for you. So the given, you start with the given and you put that in the denominator. We're given it was 10 to 20 over the limit. So that's 15 total of those. Put that in the denominator. Then out of those, what's the chance it was a female? Right, so what you're given is what you know for sure. That's the group 
that it must have come out of. You're given, you know for sure that it was a ticket that was 10 to 20 over. So that's out of those 15, what's the chance it was female? Six out of 15. All right, stop me if you have questions, I'll keep moving. If a random ticket was selected, that what, what would be the probability that the driver was male? All right, so is there anything given in my part D question? There's, there's no given in part D, right? You with me? There's no given in part D. So I don't have, so I'm taking a break from the given and I'm just gonna go, okay. So the probability is just gonna be, the bottom is gonna be the total, the total number. And the top is gonna be whatever number, the asked for number. Okay, so what's the total number is back to the 40. The denominator is back to 40 because this is not a given question. We're dealing with the whole entire group now. What's the chance they were male? How many males out of the 40? My example, 29, right? 29 out of 40, divided on my calculator, 0.725. There we go. So you gotta watch, is it a given question or is it not? On down to part E. If a random ticket was selected, what would be the probability the driver is a female and driving 10 to 20 over the limit? So now, now we have an and question. Okay, so <clears throat> is there anything given on E? No, no given on E. There's no given. So again, we're so the so the probability. It's going to be the number being asked for over the total number. So the bottom's going to go back to 40 again, right? Because there's no given here. There's no changing the denominator. The denominator is back to 40, the total number. Um, okay, but now what, what goes in the top? What's the number being asked for that goes up in the numerator? Well, female and driving 10 to 20 over the limit. How many fit that category? How many are both female and they're driving 10 to 20 over the limit? Would it be six? Uh, yeah, that's right, huh, right there. 10 to 20 over the limit and female, excellent. Right there, they're 10 to 20 over the limit and they're female, so that's six people. There's six people out of the total 40, out of the 40 tickets in this situation, six of them are females who drove 10 to 20 over. So that's what's being asked for. Six divided by 40, I'm getting 0.15. I have a question. Why would this total be 40 and not just all of the females? Total. Uh, the total is 40 because there's, this is not a given question. So the denominator only changes um, and, and the, when there's a given. So, so look up at um, part B says given, part C says given, part D, no given, part E, no given. It never says given, no given. So because that, the total goes back to the 40. Because they're talking about everybody now. They're saying a random ticket was like, that means out of the whole group, there's not a given. We're not saying, you know, that'd be like me saying, I pick somebody at random off the street. What's the chance they're fast? You know, versus if I say, hey, I pick somebody at random. Uh, by the way, let me tell you, it, they were on a soccer team. What's the chance they were fast? So if I give you the information they were on a soccer team, that changes the possibilities, doesn't it? Uh, so, so that's the reason. Good question. On E, there's no given. And so the denominator goes back to 40. So the denominator is the total when there's no given, like up in part A, right? Part A had no given and the denominator was 40. But B and C had given, right? B said given, C said given. So that changed the denominators in both those cases. 
Good questions. Is that making sense? Other questions? Then how about if so that's what you want to ask yourself every time you read one of these, is it a given or is it not? How about F? Does F say given anywhere? No. No given, right? We good there? So F again is no given. No given, so that means the denominator is going to be the total number again, isn't it? Right, we're not going to change the denominator, we only change the denominator on a given problem that limits the possibilities. Like if I told you I grabbed somebody off a soccer team, they're not just a random person anymore, they're on a soccer team that changes the game. All right, so now, so that what the total number is going to be 40 on this one, because there's no given. And then what's the top gonna be? Well, it's whatever they're asking for. What are they asking for? Uh, female or driving zero to 10 over the limit. Female or, or, or means we need to add them up. Remember that? We learned some of that last time. We're gonna have to add up a few categories here. So let's go find the people that are female or driving zero to 10 over the limit. So all these people are females, aren't they? Right, females, three, six, two, all those are females. So we're gonna have to add those up. Three, six, two, and then, so it can be, it can be any female. They're saying, you're gonna grab somebody random. What's the chance it's a female? Well, there's all the females. There's, what is that, 11 females? Yeah, I could have just grabbed this 11, huh? I could have just said there's 11 females. Anyway, this is good. Or, it doesn't have to be a female, or driving, anybody driving zero to 10 over the limit. Well, who else, who else among all those people, who else should I include in this? The zero to 10 over the limit. Yeah. Yeah, these males right here, this eight, right? Because they're also included. You have to add in the other people that are zero to 10 over the limit because they're all included, right? They say, we want everybody included who is either a female, well, that gets in the three, the six, and the two, or just somebody who's zero to 10 over the limit, even if they're not a female. So that throws in the eight, doesn't it? Add those up, that's 19 out of 40. And so now I'm going to divide that on my calculator. 19 divided by 40, 0.475. And there we go. We are done with number one. Questions I can answer on that. It was a long one. Are we good there?